Hi, church family. If we haven't met yet, my name is June Kang, and tonight I'll be reading Psalm 132. Remember, O Lord, in David's favor, all the hardship he endured, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob, I will not enter my house or get into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrata. We found it in the fields of Yar. Let us go to his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, and go to your resting place. You and the ark of your might. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness and let your saints shout for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not turn away the face of your anointed one. The Lord swore to David a sure oath from which he will not turn back. One of the sons of your body I will set on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their sons also forever shall sit on your throne. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling place. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provisions. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Her priests I will clothe with salvation, and her saints will shout for joy. There I will make a horn to sprout for David. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but on him his crown will shine. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, um, we come to you humble, troubled, anxious, uh, with a myriad of different problems and anxieties. Lord, but we know that you have established your dwelling place in Zion forever. Uh, in eternities past, you, you established it. Um, in eternities past, you knew that one of the sons of David's body will come and be our Savior, live a perfect life, and die an unjust death, and yet resurrect and be ascended to sit at your right hand, Lord, where he is reigning right now and forevermore. Lord, we thank you for this gracious provision. We thank you for the salvation that we inherit through your son, Jesus. Uh, and we pray that we can go to him as a safe haven uh, forever. Um, and we go to him with all of our problems and, and our anxieties, Lord. And uh, it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. And now a blessing from number six. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Have a good night.